Welcome back fuckers. Alrighty, in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the CCIP unguided bomb issues with the F-18 Hornet. So this video is, if you're watching this in the future, end of June 2022. This issue is a bug with the F-18 Hornet. So when you're doing unguided bombing with the Mark 80 series bombs, cluster munitions, the CCIP Pippa and accuracy is very, very topsy-turvy hit and miss. So we're going to show you what's happening and then I'm going to show you how to fix it so that it becomes how it's supposed to be in F-18. Alright, let's get in the jet and I'll show you what's happening. Alright guys, so we're in the jet. We are going to configure our aircraft. So Master Arm is on. Air to ground mode is selected. Mark 83s, we've got currently eight Mark 83s on board. We've got eight targets down on the ground that we're going to try and destroy. So mode is going to be CCIP. M fuse will be nose. E fuse will be let's go delay one because we've got tanks down there okay so we've got eight t72 tanks that we need to destroy down on the ground there all right so we are configured mode ccrp m fuse nodes e fuse delay one drag is on free for you can't change that quantity one multiple ones so every time we press the weapon release button one bomb will come off the aircraft and we're going to go ahead and take some targets out so over here on our little uh, little airfield here, this is where our targets are. So we're going to head back over that way. And we're going to drop some bombs. So we've got eight targets, eight bombs. How many tanks can we kill with the Hornet? Dumb bomb dropping on CCRP mode with Mark 83s. All right, you can see we've got targets down there. Eight targets. So we're going to go for this guy here. It's our first victim. So again, he's right there on the piano key. Let's get after him. Rolling in. I mean, it's nice and level. Altitude. Altitude. Pickle. One weapon away. All right, that fell short. One miss. All right, this guy here's their next target. Altitude. Altitude. Pickle. So I'm yeah, saying pickle when I'm dropping the bomb. I'm pressing the weapon release. That one went long. Zero for two. Alright, we'll go for this guy. Altitude. Altitude. Pick up. Zero for three. Right, we're going to go for this guy right here. Out 
altitude, altitude. Tickle. Zero for four. Alrighty, let's have a look at this, guys. So there is our miss on the one of the targets. Another miss. Another miss. And another miss so you can see they're all roughly all the misses are you know they're at least two tanks distance away from me from the target at least two maybe three two tank widths from the target okay so they're missing substantially you guys saw when i when i was releasing the bombs like i was saying pickle when i was dropping them and we're missing a fair bit Alrighty guys, so you can see we've missed four, four targets, we've dropped bombs, and you can see how long we've missed, okay, we've missed substantially on all four drops. Now, I have tweaked the thing that we need to change, I've changed it, and we're going to have a crack now at dropping our other four, and see if we can get a bit closer. So our first target, we're going to go for this guy here. See if we get a little bit closer or even hit it. Altitude. Altitude. Pickle. Jack. One from four. All right, next target. Altitude. Altitude. Pickle. Check. Two from four. Right, uh, there's our next target on the piano keys. Altitude. Altitude. Pickle. Just missed him. All right, so we are. Uh, what's that? Three from seven. Right, last target. Go right there. Altitude. Altitude. Pickle. And a shack. Three from eight. Alrighty, guys. There we go. So we've got... There's our four targets that we destroyed. 
So three targets that we destroyed there, and then our last one, that's one we missed. So you can see the uh, the impact crater significantly closer than the other four. So I'm putting that one there down to pilot error on my behalf on why I missed because I hit three out of four with the uh, the bombs. And you guys saw me drop all of the bombs. Like, look at the difference there. Look at the distance of that bomb compared to that bomb when I press the pickle. So what the hell did I do? What did I do to make my accuracy improve? Now, again, this is only from uh, as of end of June 2022. This will fix the problem right at this stage. And if it uh, changes, I will uh, I'll do a new release or a new update on the fix for it. But what you're going to do is you're going to go to your HSI page. So all I did was changed one setting. All right, and it shouldn't it shouldn't be an issue, but this is how it is right now, and this is how you fix that inaccuracy. So on your HSI page, on the top left, you got your position. This will be default right here. Position AINS. So position aircraft INS. What I did is change my position to GPS. Alright? As soon as you change your position to GPS, for whatever reason, it makes your bombs accurate again. All right, position, it'll be default when you uh, load the aircraft up and start it up. Position default will be aircraft INS. Just change that to position GPS. That's all I did, and you saw the results, the difference between getting a shack on a target or getting extremely close for just missing by uh, mistiming the pickle button or missing by miles okay, against armored vehicles, the tanks. So that is how you fix it, guys. So I hope that helped. And let me know in the comments if you are having greater success. That, uh, let's just do this live here. We're gonna go one more quick little test here. We're gonna switch to the gun. We do a gun run here on a target. Uh, the gun has been playing silly buggers as well as of late. So let's see. What do we see down here? Anything we can hit? Let's go for that uh, the right helicopter. We're going to try and hit him. In range. Alright, that seemed to be okay. Let's do another run just to confirm that it's not going to be a fluke. Pick another target out down there. Altitude. Running in. Altitude. I right, will just try and hit one of these guys here. In range. Okay, that one there was pretty accurate. So now I'm going to just do the same here. GPS. See if there's any difference. Appears to not be, but I know for a little while the gun was aiming like was going way long or way short. I'm sneaking suspicion that this could be a, uh, a fix to it as well if your gun isn't working as advertised. So now we're in uh, GPS Altitude. for our position. Altitude. Let's try and pick one of these vehicles out. Right there. In range. Now, I don't know, you be the judge on that one, but I uh, I feel that the spread, the accuracy of the, the gun right there on that second one, the spread pattern was a lot more accurate, as in it aimed exactly where the gun was going for. But watch the video back and see what you guys think. But I reckon uh, having it in GPS seems to fix 
the gun as well, any gun inaccuracies. So any of your unguided munitions, so uh, rockets, Mark 80 series bombs, cluster munitions, so your rock eyes and your GBU, uh, your CBUs, any of that stuff, and the gun uh, is fixed at the moment by doing that quick little fix. So from position aircraft AI INS, aircraft INS to position GPS fixes the issue. So yeah, I hope that helped guys. Let me know in the comments if it did fix your issues and test it out for me as well. You know, load up a mission, put some targets down there, practice doing the dumb bomb drops with it in AINS and then try again with it in GPS and let me know if you guys have the same success as me. So thank you heaps guys for watching. If you liked it, make sure you go ahead and like the video for me and if you haven't already, uh, really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. We're cruising along now. The, uh, the subscribers count is getting up up towards the 5,000 mark now. We hit the 4,000, which is amazing. So thank you to everyone that has subscribed to the channel. And if you just are about to hit the red subscribe button, um, when you do, or if you do, thank you very much, your legend, appreciate you. And if you wanna get notified when a new video comes out live from myself, uh, just make sure you click on the little bell icon and select all notifications. And then next time a video does come out from myself, you will get a notification from YouTube saying that a video is available for you to watch as soon as it goes live from myself or any other content creator for that matter that you uh, enjoy watching because if you didn't know, YouTube doesn't show you all the videos from your subscribed uh, content creators. It uh, kind of picks and chooses unless you want to force it to show you. So there you go, if you didn't know that, now you do. Anyways guys, thank you. I hope it helped you guys and happy hunting with your bombing. See you on the next one.